case sandwich If I called a hot dog a sandwich Do you think that you'd be fine with it? If not, then why? Let's bust this wide Mary, Carrie, Kelly, Matt, oh my Is a sandwich? Well, let's decide I've made dad jokes and puns Sung songs, recited poems Referenced obscure 60s science fiction And done some questionable Tom Carvel impersonations. We've laughed, we've cried, and now we're all back in the yard for the milkshakes. And no, I do not mean any innuendo, literal milkshakes. Time for the ultimate episode and a little brain freeze here on Order Up. Uh, oh, yay, Matt. <laughs> Who doesn't okay. love a little brain freeze, everybody? <laughs> oh, my. So much fun. This is the season finale of season six for us. This is episode six. I'm your friend, your pal, Kelly Zemnikas. And always, I am coming to you along with Carrie Haim, Mary Kennedy, and Matt Ardill. Now, friends, we know that so far, Cone is like crushing it this Woo-hoo! season. Um, how anyone, anyone tempted to maybe join Team Cup? No, anyone, no. Why if, if, it was a, if it was if it was a waffle cup, maybe. If it was a oh, cup no, you could eat, maybe. No, but that's just basically a cone. Still, yeah. <laughs> like to me, ice cream is not nearly as fun without the cone. Like it's way more of an experience for me with the with especially with a sugar cone. Like, yeah, no, yeah, uh, yeah no, I can't do cup. No, no, it's fair. I mean, last episode with DJ, he did remind me how much fun it is at the baseball park to mm. have the stadium, the like the team hat with the ice cream in it. That is uh, a definite favorite of. of <laughs> but, but there's a lot of work with that. I'm going to be honest. And I'm, you know, yeah. from the Boston area. So go Red Sox. <laughs> I would love one of those. I would, you know, whatever. I don't know how they're playing. I don't want to know. I think this has been a bad Boston team here. But anyway, um, but my issue, and maybe this is my mom gene from being a mom. I think, holy God, if I gave ice cream to my whole family in the Red Sox cup hat, then that means I need to go to the bathroom and wash dishes. And to mm. me, that is not okay. That's not okay. I shouldn't okay. be washing dishes. Can I also chime in as a mom? For a kid, always get your kid a cup, a small kid. Yes. That's the thing, because otherwise ice cream is like a horrible, horrible experience for me, for us <laughs> as a parent, because somehow it ends up on their elbow. It ends up everywhere. It ends up everywhere anyway, even if there's a cup. Yeah. But if you have a cup, you have a chance of salvaging some clothing um, with a <laughs> cone. It's all over immediately. That's and what I'm going to say. Do not. Here's one more. Do not get. Ice cream in a cone at Disney World. Because oh. Because my mother did that. Okay. And I ended up like bumping into somebody because it's very <gasps> crowded and the cone that's, and the ice cream oh, landed on the ground. That's so sad. And as a child, I was so miserable that I ended up just leaving it there. And I was oh. so sad. And my mother goes, What do you live in a barn? Clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor mare. At Disney World, but I did end up getting another one. But, you know, that was really... Mm -hmm. That that is good to know because I'm about to go to Disney World for the first time (gasps) since... Oh my Since goodness! Captain EO came out. Mm. Oh my god! I don't know what that I is. I think it was in 1986. <laughs> <laughs> it, don't tell me when you're going. Keep it a secret because okay. you know then I'll be like tempted to like give you money to go to the Star Wars thing and buy mm-hmm. like ridiculous stuff. Yeah, I'm going on the Tron ride uh, as a diehard yes. Tron fan. Um, yeah, I'm definitely doing that. But uh, friends, as I say, this is our season finale for season six. So I'm most curious, uh, Matthew, as to what facts you have for us today to end off this ice cream season. Well, we couldn't end the season without talking a little bit about the blizzard. Mm-hmm. I mean, who doesn't love the bl- of Dairy Queen blizzard? Um, you now, the. the yeah, and I mean the Dairy Queen one, not like the snow ones. Snow blizzards suck. Um, <laughs> just, you know, humoring that there might be somebody from a country uh, that doesn't have a blizzard. Uh, for those who 
aren't in the know, it's a Dairy Queen soft serve mixed with different ingredients from sundae toppings or cookies to candy bars. It uh, is one of the most popular treats from Dairy Queen since 1985 Mm. and can be found with Oreo, mint Oreo flavor, uh, chocolate chip cookie dough, M&M's, Reese's peanut butter cups in the States, Heath or Butterfinger bars, Mm. but or in Canada, Score and Krispy Crunch. Um, Yeah, now now part of the shtick is is the (laughs) blizzard. Was that you serve it upside down. Mm-hmm. And uh, the reason that came to be with the spoon pointing out and everything was <laughs> in one of the locations, teenagers would demand thicker and thicker milkshakes. <laughs> and eventually, that like this is how they proved it. It's like, we can turn this upside down and it's not coming out. And that just <laughs> became a thing. Wow. That Queen did like a good meringue uh, like to prove that it was a real deal. <laughs> Um, they are technically, though, not ice cream. They are oh. a frozen dessert, mm-hmm. because in, especially in the U.S., because the FDA's laws around what can and cannot be called ice cream uh, okay. it does not qualify. Mm-hmm. Um, now, Oreo almost had a rhesus moment um, <laughs> where they actually refused to be part of the original, um, the original Blizzard. Uh, they mm-hmm. did not want to partner with Dairy Queen. So Dairy Queen went to their predecessor, Hydrox. Uh, a lot of people uh, don't know yeah. this, but Hydrox came before the Oreo and Oreos Nestle just basically ripped them off. Um, the Hydrox blizzards were selling like gangbusters <laughs> and Dairy Qu- and Nestle were like, oh, crap. You don't want like an e- be like that E.T. scenario. So <laughs> went back, begged Dairy Queen. <laughs> And, we're, and Dairy Queen are like, OK, and we've had the Oreo blizzard ever since. Huh. Uh, now, the largest blizzard uh, it, that, that was made for the Guinness Book of World Records weighs in at eight thousand two hundred and sixty pounds. What? So Whoa. needless to say, they didn't turn that one upside down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, My God. So, um, if you know. If you don't know Dairy Queen, because not it's not in every country, you probably know the next thing, which is McDonald's McFlurry, mm-hmm. because they served like once a week when the ice cream machines actually work. They serve <laughs> their own version, um, and it was created by Ron McClellan, the most Canadian of Canadian names that you could have, uh, in Bathurst, New Brunswick. Uh, he was a franchise holder in 1995. He created this uh, hmm. concoction and head office found it so intriguing. They introduced it into the U S and, uh, in 1997 and by 1990 wow. March of 1998, it was sold in all of the locations it, internationally. Wow. It, it has some fun variants outside of North America. It's sold in over 99 countries. Hmm. Um, and they, these variants include the Cadbury cream egg version in the UK and Australia matcha mcflurries in oh. japan what? and the lime and chocolate mcflurry in south africa which i want to wow. have because that sounds delicious um now, oh, wow. now in the uk there is a very popular de- treat but it's people will leave the, tr- the trash and hmm. boxes will get in it knock it out well hedgehogs are very attracted to the smell of a mcflurry and unfortunately, and this is going to be a little tragic here for a second, they would get stuck in the cups and and suck, suffocate. Oh, no. So the, the British Hedgehog Society and the UK fashion industry lobbied McDonald's um, to change the design of the cup. And McDonald's, you know, acquiesced and they worked with the fashion industry and they designed a very trendy cup oh, that no. hedgehogs will not get stuck in. Wow. Um, there is even a comedy connection, which ties into our guest today, actually. Uh, there is an episode of 30 Rock mm-hmm. that had more than, and that show has more than a few tongue in cheek product placements from the night cheese, <laughs> the bull testosterone infused cheese puffs. Um, but in one episode, Alec Baldwin and Selma Hayek's Jack Donahue and uh, Lisa. Uh, Andrea uh, mm-hmm. reconciled their differences uh, over, and in their words, this is not mine, although I won't really argue very much, the world's greatest dessert. 
a McFlurry. Um, this was not a paid product placement. Um, and I, my guess is just Lutz really loved McFlurries. So yeah, yeah. So that's my trivia for the last episode. That, I love wow. that the McFlurry is a Canadian creation. I had no idea. Yeah. And it's so young. I thought it would have been around longer, like to be created in, what did you say, 97? That just seems, yeah, or 95. 95, 95. And, then, and then was introduced to the market in 98. Yeah, that's kind of bonkers. Yeah. But wow. um, that's nuts. all that is I have nuts. to say is an American. Uh-huh. I have to say this. <laughs> the fact that the FDA called this a, what did they call it again? They said it's a frozen uh, dessert. Frozen treat. Mm. Frozen, frozen treat. treat. This is the same FDA that approved wood resin in my diet bread that I ate when I was on Weight Watchers back in the 90s. <laughs> oh, so, my God. I'm what is it gonna... if it can't be ice cream? God. <laughs> exactly. So I say follow FDA and oh. I will have my McFlurry with no, not McFlurry, sorry, excuse me. I will have my Blizzard. Without wood resin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. I think and that's reasonable. I am very excited to get to our guest today. So, Kelly, who is our very special guest today? Oh, my goodness. And I have to say that our guest today has a comedy resume I would pay to have. This is like my dream resume. I absolutely love this. Uh, we met recently uh, at the uh, Grizzly Pear Comedy Club in New York City. Uh, we were both on the lineup for a show and we got to talking and I had to invite her on the podcast because she seems so dang cool. Uh, <laughs> she is writing on the current, the 47th season of Saturday Night Live. Previously, she wrote for A Little Late with Lily Singh, a fellow Canadian, and mm-hmm. the show I loved a great deal. Um, she was a writing apprentice for The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. She's done some work with uh, some of the shows on the E! Network. And I love the fact that she landed these jobs, especially on Colbert and Lily, uh, without any reps or mm. connect. I felt I love that the cold okay. call worked. This is amazing. Uh, please give it up for the very, ki- the very funny, the super kind, the awesome Vanessa Jackson. Hey, Vanessa. Yay! 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 Hello. 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 I'm good. Thank you guys for having me. This is so fun. I love that you are here. And I know that we have five questions coming up for you uh, Mm -hmm. with Mary Kennedy, but I do have to ask, because I'm always curious about people who work on shows. What is the snack game at (laughs) SNL? What is available to you all for (laughs) just the crafty table? (laughs) That is beautiful. Um, That's a great question. That's always my number one question, too. Uh, There's tons of snacks. There's always chips. There's always, like, drinks, soda. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll get like meals comped on occasion, especially if we're working like late nights and stuff. So it's good. We never go hungry. And that is honestly the key for me. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite snack when you're writing? Oh, good question. Um, I always like to eat a dark chocolate covered, I never know how to pronounce it. Acai? 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, We'll go with that. (laughs) Sounds like a question. I know, it does. I'm like, what? (laughs) What is it? (laughs) So true. It's delicious. It's delicious. It is delicious. That's all that matters to me. As a, as a, an SNL fanboy, um, Mm -hmm. is... Mm -hmm. There, like in the 30 Rock episode, the girly show had the day when the Teamsters brought in the Italian sandwiches. Is that (laughs) myth or is that based on something that actually happens? Oh, I have no idea. I don't think they do anymore. Um, Oh, okay. I know. (laughs) So, but maybe a lot of things. I started post pandemic and I think a lot of things changed after the pandemic. Yeah. Like COVID protocols and stuff. So, possibly, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> gotta get Vanessa some Italian sandwiches at her work exactly <laughs> he deserves it yeah. but you go to the SNL after parties you must so there must be some yumminess there no you know, oh yes but like usually they're at a restaurant and it'll be like catered by okay. the restaurant oh, nice. yeah or a, a not like free that's always my one little <laughs> 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 I was like, shouldn't it be free? And it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it should be, yes. You would think. Come on, Comcast, NBC. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. 
Yeah. Well, Vanessa, we are going to put your super cool comedy creds on the shelf for just a hot second uh, to ask you five questions about ice cream. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. No. Go for it, Mary Kennedy. <laughs> this is hard hitting journalism. Uh, <laughs> what? Their first question is what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, my favorite flavor of ice cream. It used to be mint chocolate chip, but just mm. recently it's changed to cookie dough. I'm a big oh. fan of the cookie dough ice cream. Yes. Now this is good because now cookie dough cannot have raw egg in it anymore. Mm. The cookie oh. dough that you eat in the ice cream does not have raw egg in it anymore. So Beautiful. Safety I first. It did the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so, Safety good for first. me. I'm still yes. alive. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> it makes us happy too. So it's a lot yeah. of everybody wins, you know? Everybody wins. The fact, oh the fact that I know that is a little interesting. Anyway. No, I love uh, it. Have you, have you ever made your own ice cream? I, one time I try. I feel like everyone's done that thing where it's like, I, I don't know. You're supposed to put it like in a plastic bag. Oh yeah. I feel like yes. it's like a kid's project. Yeah. And it yeah. didn't, it did not materialize into ice cream mm. at all. It was just like chocolate milk in a bag, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're supposed to like shake it and use like sea salt. And it was. Yeah. Not. Yes. I did that recently with my niece and nephew who are four and seven. Mm -hmm. And I think it just turned into Auntie Kelly got angry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's so funny and so true it is a very trauma infuriating milk. way yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> trauma the, the, way to make it. The, the, the maker if you get the makers it's actually really easy it's just cranking it is like I had one yeah. that I made by hand and it was mm. like such a good workout <laughs> and I blew all of that hard work at the end by eating like home. <laughs> yeah. Did anyone, did anyone here ever have the Snoopy snow cone machine? <gasps> oh, I was, I coveted that thing, but I never had it. Oh. Yes, yeah. I had it. That, that was a fun eighties adventure. Oh, um, and I will say for all the cookie dough I've consumed that had raw egg, I'm surprised I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and I would do a dessert buffet. Of course I did, because my grandma was a pastry chef. Mm. I did a dessert buffet with the snow cone machine, easy bake oven. So it had, <laughs> oh, yes. A combo platter. We had combo platter. Nice. And then we had cheese whiz, because we're Ew. from- Ew. Oh my God. So, yeah, yeah delicious. Uh, so, so the next part of that question was, how did it go? So it sounds to me like that didn't go so well when you tried to do it. It went well, very poorly. It's a, yeah. Okay, that's all right. We'll, we'll move on. on that. Uh, who makes the best ice cream you've ever had? So I think the person who makes the best ice cream. Okay. Have you ever had Bluebell from like Texas? Oh my gosh. You're what? the second person to mention it this year. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have a roommate who would always be like, Bluebell is the best ice cream in the world. And I was like, okay, calm down. Um, <laughs> <let's> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't have any strong opinions about ice cream except for that one. I was like, I don't think so. Um, but then I had it and it was great. It was truly like really, really good. It's super creamy, mm -hmm. super rich. So I was like, they might be on to something. Hmm. Huh. We're gonna get her. To get some I was just gonna say we gotta get hands on this stuff because I don't think we, we have some, it some, here some in testing. Canada. But you had do you have we, it in LA there? We have it in LA. Okay. It's 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 very coveted. You can't it depends on the place. Okay. Um, so, you know, I might have to go out to Rancho Cucamonga to get it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have. It's a hard place to find. Uh, yeah. Outside of like Texas, which is also interesting. Which is so classic. That is interesting. Texas. Of course they would hide their ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's really at Fort Knox. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, my you got God. the best barbecue and the best best ice cream, but none of you people from outside of Texas. Can yeah, have it. exactly. They're like, but we're keeping it with us. Mm. So, Blue Bell. I'm doing some research on the spot. Blue Bell <laughs> yes. is only available in a portion of the nation's supermarkets. It ranks as one of the best selling ice creams in the country. Our mm. products are sold in 23 states. Okay. Oh. Okay. So. 
Yeah, I don't. I do not see Canada because you know we're Canada. Not a state. Because yeah, we're not a state. <laughs> this is white. <laughs> Whoops. No. Um, did you just, could you just tell that I don't know geography? Um, yeah, uh, oh, now, now they go to Bluebells. They don't, they don't even talk about Bluebell ice cream. Now I have to see. I have to. I'm in the middle of this. Sorry, Vanessa. Hold on. No, I love it. Do you Blueberry. have a favorite flavor, Vanessa, of Bluebell? Is it the cookies? The cookies no. Uh, I think the mint chocolate chip. I would say that's my favorite. Well. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, I've been trying to cut back on sweets, but we found that Uber Eats will deliver from a Baskin and Robbins, and <laughs> I've been ordering mint chocolate chip for my for my wife uh, because her fla- favorite flavor. Uh, so I was like, "Oh, I'm getting it for you." <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it for you. So, so here's the drop, and I don't know if you guys can do, do this, Canadians. Okay. It is sold in Walmart. Do you have Walmart? We do, we but I we do have Walmart. <laughs> it's not it's Target. Target. We have Walmart. Right. But yeah. I don't you know, think I it's in Target <laughs> shut down. Remember, Target did shut down. So that's why but I our, did not last. No, we do have yeah, Walmart. It shut down because Walmart. <laughs> But I, I've never seen that ice cream there. I'm actually, st- I'm also going to look it up, but it'll be added to our American road trip that Kelly and Matt and myself are going to take so we can eat all this food. <laughs> a fudgy the whale, a cookie puss, some, some bluebell ice cream. You'll be and, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of antacid. A lot of antacid. <laughs> um, oh, so, so here we go. Toppings or no toppings? Mm. Toppings or no toppings? Mm-hmm. I see. I'm always undecided on this because I like no toppings for ice cream. Since we're talking about ice cream, mm-hmm. if it's frozen yogurt, I like toppings. But oh, interesting. Cream, yeah. Okay. Here, I any, ice cream. Any I don't. Reason behind that? Um, I I feel like ice cream doesn't need toppings. It is what it is. But I feel like frozen yogurt always like. Something about the flavors always benefit from like a little extra, like sour gummy worm or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of with you because my parents eat a lot of frozen yogurt, and I find that when it's being served, I will put toppings because in my brain I'm eating yogurt, which is healthy, <laughs> so I can add something kind of naughty, you know? Yes, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go with that. I like that logic. <laughs> yeah, I heard what it's logic. well it's not frozen yogurt is like good, but it's like they took really good ice cream and made it just a little bit gross and better for you. So you could eat more of it. Right? <laughs> but there's That's a good your way topic. To That's it. a good tagline, Karen. Yeah. 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 Frozen yogurt, yeah. gross. Um, gross. but have gross. lots. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I see I see why you would do but also some of those frozen yogurt places like when you go to a frozen yogurt place they have all the toppings there. I know they have it in an ice cream place too, but you're right, it seems more of a frozen yogurt activity. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. No, and I I agree. But I got to tell you, again, I know we we started talking about kids. <laughs> do not take your kids to a frozen yogurt place with those toppings because I will tell you, you think you're going in because they weigh everything. You think oh. you're going in and it's going to cost this much. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then you leave right. and it's the down payment for their college. I mean, it's really. <laughs> that is the scam of frozen yogurt. Yeah. They will give they will upcharge you so much. You're like, how yes. is this eight hundred dollars? Anything where they charge by the weight. They've done the math. Yeah. They've they done the math. The, yeah. 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 And those sour gummies, call back, those sour gummy worms that you speak of, mm-hmm. they are probably three pounds per capita. So those are <laughs> yeah, expensive. they yeah. get you. Because it's too late. You can't put it back once it's in the cup. No. You're like, well, I That's, guess I got Yeah. Yeah. So Tell them, don't touch that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So this is, because this is our final episode, I can say that. Uh-huh. This, this is, this, I, I, there's a lot of suspense here. When it comes to ice cream, are you a fan of the cup or the cone? I'm a cup girl all the way. Oh. 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 
interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Oh my. Wow, you guys all cone well, people. This is this has been so cone. It's been very I'm cone heavy. Both sides. I'm I'm by cup and by cone. I, I guess that's the season. <laughs> My cup, God, my cone, kind of she, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's been cone heavy, so I yeah. like that the cone, the cup is getting some respect in our past two episodes. It's nice. That's brilliant. But I, you're welcome. But I have I a do question. What I can. Of, of, of course, I always have an added question. <laughs> Are you it. open to putting your ice cream in a cone and then putting it upside down <laughs> like the blizzard and putting it in a cup? <laughs> that is yes. I don't mind that. Okay, we will accept that. But she still said cup. She's a clear cup. She's a a clear cup. So so why? Why the cup? Why? Oh, I just don't like when it like melts in your hand. Yeah. It's not fun. Or you have to eat it super quick because it's like dripping all over your hand, which is never fun. So here's the thing that I've noticed. The people who have been pro cup, aside from Kelly, have been from warm places. (gasps) <gasps> oh, Where, uh, like California, uh, Texas, you know, even a hot day in, in, you know, early summer in Toronto is uh, not that hot. It's yeah. not that hot. You're, it's, you got, you got more cone time. Yeah. So, and, and you know, and, and Mary <laughs> lives in LA. So this is you know, very I, I, I'm interesting. Thinking maybe there's an environmental factor. I think and you I'm might be right person. about that. I think so too. Yeah. But I'm a cone person. I will. I like cones. I was no, but you're from Boston. Boston. Oh, yeah, you're from Boston. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you would get ice cream like every Friday night, no matter the temperature. Mm-hmm. You know, my mother would be in a parka mm-hmm. with gloves, a scarf, <laughs> and a hat, eating ice cream in the car. Mm-hmm. The Don't ask. But that, you know. <laughs> That's just me on a Tuesday. <laughs> 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 on a Tuesday. Uh, well, with Vanessa's answer, friends, uh, to wrap up this season. Okay, what's the tally? Cone did win, and I <gasps> am playing. I am playing both sides, so I kind of. So you, you got know, two votes. Know. I've got two votes. All right, all right. I, I picked both. If though, uh, I will. If I had to pick, I have my preference is cup. So I'm going to put myself on team cup. Okay, this. okay. But uh, by a score of. Um, uh, we didn't win at all. Uh, <laughs> Team Cup got four votes. Cone okay. got Cone got six. Me too. Me too. Still, still no, pretty close. Pretty close. Mary, is pretty this close. the first time you've won? In a, yes, it, this is the this first, is time. first time. Yay, Mary! Yay, Mary. <laughs> Very impressive. If you notice, there was not a lot of rules. There was not <laughs> no. a lot. There was it was very clear cut. So, there was no time of day. No, there was no, no you know. No. So we 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 got we got through. Oh, that that's um, great, Vanessa. Where is your favorite place in New York to get ice cream? Mm-hmm. If you want to give a local. Oh, oh, I'm too. so basic. That's a good question. I do prefer frozen yogurt over ice cream, and I usually get it from Sixteen Handles. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. Gotta go there the oh, next time, Kelly. Time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be there in January. So okay. yeah. I'd say the best, uh, the best milkshake I ever had was in New York. Oh yeah, Harlem Shake. Yes. Which mm. was really good. Mm. Really good. Is it one of those ginormous ones with like half a pie no. on the side kind of no, thing? No, it's a no. totally reasonable okay. sized milkshake. You know, you had the option to put in malt, so you could have Ooh. like a malted or just regular milkshake. Very just mm-hmm. is it's a simple thing done well. Right. Yes. That's really good. Not yeah. Good. Nice. Awesome. I like that. Well, Vanessa, where can folks find you on socials? Obviously, they can uh watch your writing skills come to life on SNL. Um, but where can they follow you on social media? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, um, at very Vanessa. And it's Vanessa with two N's. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so thank much you. for being here. Thank you. Wrapping up this season. When I'm next in New York, we will have to go for some frozen yogurt. (laughs) We must do it because Adam will not do that with me. (laughs) As a foodie, it's weird dating a non foodie. (laughs) That's so funny. (laughs) Save her, Vanessa. Take her for ice cream. (laughs) I'm all about it. Awesome. Amazing. Nice. Does Uh, does he not like frozen yogurt? 
he's not a sweet guy mm. oh okay he's not a sweet guy uh, he's sweet enough as he is oh <laughs> okay um, <laughs> Okay. That was so lame. I uh, no, he's, he's not a sweet guy at all. He's not a foodie guy at all. Right. Like he lets me go with others to fancy meals and stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not his jam. But, <laughs> um, he has done the show, which I which I love him for doing. Yay. Um, everyone, we will be back next season with a brand new topic and a brand new debate, and we'll see if Mary can keep her streak alive for two weeks <laughs> in a row. Um, <laughs> But this has been season six of Order Up. Hey, Kelly. How are you doing? Hey, Matt. I'm pretty good. What did you have for lunch today? I had a bologna sandwich. I bought a big thing of bologna and then chopped it up so I could freeze it so I yeah. can control the slice size. Because they <laughs> never have a good size slice. It's always too, too, too thin. Even when I say thick, yep. it's like see through it would it pass the mary kennedy test for a sandwich do you I th- think i think so i think so it had cheese it had a condiment it had <laughs> meat and and fresh bread i got from around around the corner that sounds amazing well friends we have had so many good food chats on order up so far we're gonna take a bit of a break game plan for a new season maybe bring up you know is a pop tart ravioli we've got lots to digest from what we've talked about already and there's important questions to chew over exactly so we have to have a big brainstorming meeting uh, but we will be back soon with fresh new episodes and new eats on order up order up is hosted and produced by matt ardill mary kennedy larry hayne kelly's neckis and original music by Rebecca McDonald.